in the light. You see the, the scum layer? Mm -hmm. Wow, it's really thick. Yeah. And then see the bubbles are underneath it. Right. And so they can't, there's no, just like the water couldn't get out, your gas has had a really hard time penetrating that extraordinarily thick layer of sludge, mm -hmm. floating sludge. Again, something I never experienced because I didn't have manure in the tank. So that's, that's the problem. And that stuff is, uh, has to be broken up for the bubbles to get out. They're all, you can see, look at the froth. All the bubbles are in there. I'm trying to get out, and as I move this up and down, you can see the bubbles. There's the methane bubbles there. But they are so trapped. So, it's a floating scum layer of immense proportion. And look at that, there's all the bubbles, look at that. Oh, nice. See the methane? You got lots of methane. Oh, that's good. Yeah. It's, Oh, that froth, that's the methane going, oh, I'm free, I'm free, tell you, free, free at last. So, that makes me think of a couple of things. If we're going to be doing digesters that are started on manure, then we do need to build in some kind of stirring mechanism to break all that up.